we here thank the Lord. Now, next thing. I'll see you at the house. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but don't you just love jumping into a brand new rental car on a brand new holiday, knowing you got all these, all this space for activities and cool things to do, and you know, play football, just do heaps of cool shit, you know? Yeah! No, but seriously. All right, we're here, and I'm gonna talk to you, I'm just gonna do a little bit of real talk before I do get to the house. And the, the real talk is the fact that I am in trouble. I'm in trouble with the mother of my child because of the fact that she doesn't support me anymore in my journey to be a football player. Because of the fact that we're not together anymore, which is fair enough. So, for me to come, for me to leave Alice Springs and, and leave, leave her and, and more importantly leave my daughter for six days without having told her before I actually left is pretty bad but the, the reality is is that I wanted to leave in a good mood I wanted to leave in a good headspace and I knew that if I had have told her you know days beforehand it just would have been arguments after arguments her trying to stop me from going we're here in Melbourne what can I do what can I do man I've got I've got important shit to do this weekend for my headspace for my YouTube channel for my business you know, all of the shit that I'm doing is not for me. It's not for me, it's to, it's to design and build a life that I can then not have to work so hard so then I can provide more so for my family and for my, for my daughter in the future. That's what this is for, man. This is, this is not for me. This is, this is about setting up a future. It's about living a life that's, that's interesting. Um, and in doing so, I'm going to be better off for it. My headspace, my mental space. This year was all about saying yes. This year was about not living with any regrets. Nothing. No regrets. And fuck, I've achieved a lot this year just because I had that attitude. So, you know, I just hope that it'll all be worth it in the end. And I have faith that it will be. So that's why we're down here. If you didn't know. But I think you did know. So anyways... People are looking at me funny. I'm sitting in the car park looking at a camera by myself. This YouTube thing is weird to most people. Vlogging, you know. Even listening to your own voice is hard to some people. And that's the first thing that you've got to get over when you want to start a YouTube channel. Anyways guys, I've just wasted another five minutes. I need to charge my phone, get the GPS going and head off to my accommodation. And let's hope I don't have too many uh, angry, nasty messages from the ex. Because I don't want that, man. I don't want it, I don't need it, but I probably deserve it. Anyways, I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, currently uh, lost and haven't even left the airport. <laughs> it's not good. 37 minutes, 29 kilometers. For you guys in the US, that's probably about 18 miles. Be there at 5.30. What is it now? 4.51. Let go. Alright guys. I honestly think I've hit the jackpot with this one. There we are. 38 Cunningham Street. Right in the centre of Melbourne. And it's somewhat of a high rise. So I'm hoping we've got one up there. But I'm not quite sure. Anyways, first of all. First of all guys, I need to find the key. And I've been given some instructions. And they're in the form of a cryptic code. Well, not really. Actually, they've given me photos here, that's good. <laughs> oh shit, are you serious? Hi, we have a lockbox. Blah, 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 blah. You will find the keys to access the property in the lockbox placed near the building. Please read instructions to find the lockbox. Okay, come with me. Facing the main entrance. Okay. Turn left and walk about 20 meters. Okay. You will find a bench. The lockbox is attached to the bench's legs. <laughs> Boom. 
Enter the code, open the black lid, take the key. Please close the lockbox and change the code. To enter the building, you need to swipe the fob over the scanner. All right, let's get the code out. Bingo. To enter the building, you need to swipe the fob over the scanner on the right-hand side. Walk towards the lifts and press one. Once you're on level one, turn left towards apartment 105. All right, I'm gonna to have to work out parking later because apparently I've got to park. Thank you. Oh yeah. I'm liking this. I think these must be service departments right in the city. This, this apartment would literally, well let me see it first, but I think it'd probably be worth close to a million. Let's see. <laughs> Inception. One oh five. Let's check it out. Um, this way. One oh eight. One oh four. Bingo. One oh five. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be happy here. Don't you just love, oh my God, look at this place. Fuck yes. Wow. Look, I've got a big glass screen here between the bed and the lounge. What's this? Storage. Come right out here to the studio apartment. Here we go, what do we got? Dear guest, please drop off this envelope with the keys inside the mailbox when you're checking out. Okay. This is why I love Airbnbs. I got this whole place to myself in the middle of Melbourne for $110 a night. Six nights, 660 bucks, plus cleaning fees. 700 bucks for six nights, my own place. Look at this fucking thing, this is sick. Yes. Let's go outside. Well, I've got a balcony. It's not, it's not high rise, but uh, you know, you do what you can. And it seems as if they know the way to my heart. I definitely need one of those in my house. Alright guys, anyways, apparently, apparently we've got some parking, so I'm going to try and s sort that out. Parking instructions. To get, to get to the gate, face the building, turn right, and at the corner turn left. To open the gate you need the remote. Drive down the ramps until the last one where you'll face a wall. Turn left. The parking space is the last one to the left, number 105. Alright. Let's see how good they are. Parking, especially in the middle of the city, is super hard to come by. I've got to say, one of the filters that I always put on my Airbnbs when I try and book, especially in a place like Melbourne, is a parking space. Free Wi-Fi, parking space. Oh fuck, that's not the right one. <laughs> hey, maybe. <laughs> I think it's actually just this button. Let's have a try. That's what you want to see. This just gets better and better. It looks like we're Actually looks like we're Thunderbird too. Thunderbirds are go. You know Thunderbird too. Coming from out underneath that island with that big opening door, just like that. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, we've got one park and one park only. Where is it? 105. I gotta say man, I am so stoked with that unit. 
I knew it would be nice, but I mean, $110 a night, like seriously, man, seriously. You literally cannot beat that. And here we are. What do we got? 10, what does it say? 105. Boom. The last one on the left. <laughs> we got it, folks. We made it. I, um, I don't actually think you'd want to be down here at night. It's kind of spooky. What? Huh? Man, I haven't heard an echo like that in a while. Hmm. And yes, yes, just in case you're wondering, I did set that shot up. I did have to walk back out, set the camera up, walk back out, walk back in. Just for the shot, and um, I'll tell you what, it wasn't worth it. Nah. All right, you guys, final clip. I'm pretty damn tired, I've gotta, gotta be honest. It's 11 o'clock at night. I've just got Uber Eats, which we don't have up in Alice Springs, so that's one good thing. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted, I really am. Can't wait to go to bed and wake up tomorrow. It's, uh, it's a brand new day, it's a Wednesday. We've got awesome things planned. And um, hopefully by the end of tomorrow, I will have experienced my first proper football training. And it's being held from seven o'clock p.m. till 9.30 p.m. tomorrow evening. And I have purposely not brought my rugby boots because I wanna buy some new ones. So that's gonna be one video tomorrow. It's gonna be my brand new pair of uh, football cleats or rugby boots, whichever you want to call it. And a second video is going to be... It's going to be titled Time for a Change. And you know, the more I look at this thing, the more I, I think, you know what, it's time. It's definitely time. The side of my head needs to be done. I'm going to take the line of the man bun probably up a centimeter on each side to have it more of a more of like a mohawk sort of strip sort of thing. I'm gonna get this done, or gone, basically. And um, I'm gonna be looking fresh for this training with fresh boots, so I can't wait. If you have followed along, guys, if you wanna support me, if you wanna support the channel, please hit the like button. If you wanna subscribe, please do. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be seeing you pretty soon, probably tomorrow morning to get some boots. I can't wait, I don't know what color. I don't know whether to get this. I don't even know what kind of boots are out at the moment. I haven't been to a sports store in fricking years. There's nothing in Alice Springs. Nothing as, as far as, you know, proper sports stores where you'd want to go and buy some, um, some rugby boots. So we're going to do that, get a haircut, and have a good day. I'm still dealing with those personal issues I talked about before uh, with the other half, or the ex other half, but, uh, you know. This is the year of no regrets, and I would regret it if I didn't have this happen. So that's why I'm here.